Ready, join us in the recovery room. There was a bit of a scare late in the game against Sydney with David Zaharakis sort of looking to hurt his knee. Yeah, he went down with a fair bit of pain as he sort of knocked his knee as he went down. He's fine. In fact, we'll train today, so we'd be very surprised if he's not got through today and obviously clear. There was a bit of coverage yesterday about Jake Carlisle going for some scans. It's just precautionary? It was just precautionary. Interesting, we had two get hurt in the last 30 seconds of the game. He just landed and twisted his hip and we just wanted to clear that there was nothing seriously wrong. That's good news there. Um, Paddy Ambrose, we heard he went in for some surgery to repair a fracture, is that right? Yeah, he had a hairline crack's probably the best way to describe it, uh, of his jaw, and uh, just to make sure if he gets another knock it's all stable, they, they plated it so that it doesn't move at all. What's the recovery on that? Is it just making sure it does, there's no, not too much contact? Is that for the first week? Yeah, the, the recovery is very quick, so he would miss a maximum of two. That's, that's further good news. Uh, Michael Hibbert, how's his uh, hamstring coming along? Uh, Michael had a very minor hamstring going back five or six weeks. And this time, once again, it, it is a recurrence, but minor. Uh, but we will be cautious with him because we don't be, being a second hamstring. So we, he will probably do uh, miss three, play four or something like that. Another one of our uh, key forwards, Joe Danaher. How's he coming along? Uh, Joe's doing excellently. He had an underspaced fracture of his clavicle, uh, which... If you don't play it, you've got to wait six to eight weeks. Uh, once they're plated, basically, uh, as soon as it settles, they'll be able to play. And he's sort of a chance of starting training later this week? Oh, he'll train today, but we'll avoid heavy contact. Yeah. And uh, the skipper, Joe Watson, how's he training? Is he a chance for this week? Uh, Joe, is no chance this <laughs> week because we haven't ticked off, but he's doing extremely well. Uh, he'll have his final MRI on Wednesday, see Julian Feller Thursday, and... Uh, after that, we'll take him top end speed off the mark and kicking long. That's the only two things that we haven't done at this stage. Actually, it was interesting because uh, we had a meeting and my Jones, the physio, said to Joe, well, perhaps, perhaps you should do one in the VFL for match practice. And Job said, they don't race group one horses in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I think he'll come straight back in the ones. And how pleasing, I guess, has been that recovery? It's best case scenario, pretty much? Um, it's really what was expected and nothing's been rushed and uh, just following how it's healing and taking him up to each stage. As we've said earlier, with that sort of injury to that tendon, that is a power muscle. So they can do a hell of a lot of normal training it's just to the post we avoid acceleration off the mark and kicking long. Ready, plenty of good news. Thanks for the update. Thank you.